obviously a chance to play another game, uh, extend your career. How important is that you to have another game here, and how much do you want to win this game? Um, you know, just I've been enjoying, you know, these last couple of weeks with my guys, you know, just, you know, you don't get these experiences, you know, again, and, you know, just going out there one last game with, uh, you know, the guys we have on this team and these brothers, this bond that I've built with these guys, it's going to be a special moment. You know, we always want to go out there and you want to compete, you want to win, especially it wouldn't be in my last game. Coach mentioned how the practices leading up have been great so far. Do you get a sense that everyone is excited about going up there and playing this game and winning this game? Yeah, you know, the practice has been fun, very competitive, you know, we, we've been out there chirping, talking to each other, you know, having just some fun uh, playing the game of football. And, you know, yeah, I feel like everybody's excited. You know, we, we found our, our groove and our excitement going to, you know, Otto and just, just finding that excitement in that and being the last game of the season and, you know, just closing out the right way. Yes. Playing in South Carolina and high school and college and I come to Georgia, I feel like Idaho is a total step away climate-wise. Are you ready for the, the new environment there on the blue turf? Yeah, yeah. Um, it's going to be interesting. You know, uh, a place I've never been before, you know, just this is going to be a new experience for me. But, I mean, shoot, we've been looking at the weather back and forth. It's been colder here in the mornings than it's been in Boise, so we should be used to it. Do you want to see snow during the game? Does it matter to you, or do you like to play in snow? Not during the game, but I would I would love to see it while I'm down there. I think they thought about doing something in the snow down there for like an event for the team, but that should be fun. Coach, you mentioned the changes at the running back and offensive line positions with the, the guys leading through the transfer portal. Uh, how have you adjusted to that, and how have you gotten some of those guys acclimated uh, into the offense as a senior quarterback? You know, just uh, thinking about the running back position, Freddie Brock, you know, he's he's played a couple of snaps, so he he can step into that void and, you know, take, uh, you know, the starting running back role. And then Jalen Foster being a young guy, just, you know, just move, grooming them in, you know, you just, you know, teaching them things that, you know, Maybe Marcus Carroll did, and you know, just you know, give them a little tips here and there. But they've been progressing really well throughout the week. You know, they're looking pretty far. What about your linemen? I mean, that's it's pretty significant losing you know some tackles and just just linemen in general. How about those guys? Yeah, you know, those, like we talk about a lot. You know, next man up. You know, it's time for those guys to get those snaps and you know to get those those plays. And you think about Lamar Robinson, you may be limited snaps this year, but now it's your time to shine. And, you know, you you get to play in that role. You know, Mason Cook, another guy that's getting to step in, then at tackle, you know, the guy that gets to step in and play. So, you know, just guys being able to get that opportunity to go out there and play, you know, showcase their abilities. So ending the regular season on five straight losses, how is this is an opportunity for you to end your career, but also just end the season with the good feelings of a win? Yeah, you know, like I said, yeah, we want to go out there and, you know, obviously go out there and get a W. You know, we had went through that tough stretch at the end of the year and, you know, Love a bitter taste in our mouth, so you know, just want to end the season off with a right note and get a W, get another bowl win. Coach called you a statesman of the program. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, he did. <laughs> what a great guy. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just kind of curious, like, what's your assessment like here, you know, from day one to now, and like this being the last game, like, kind of just walk me through the whole thing. You know, even going back to 2019 when we played here, and I, I talk about this when it came to my recruitment, just the vibe and the energy I got just looking up from a, across the sideline, you know, just the energy they brought to the game of football. The, the place was packed that night. You know, they just beat Tennessee. The environment was something that I felt like if I came here, it, it would be something comfortable for me. And, you know, just coming here day one, I felt like I was welcome as a family from, from the jump. So just building those bonds, like I said, building those bonds and the relationship with these guys that I've been here for the past three years has been great. And, you know, it's been a, a great experience for me. Do you believe it's over? No, I can't. I, I really can't. But then again, it, it feels they start calling me up and calling me the old guy in the locker room. <laughs> feel like I've been here for a little minute. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's sad for it to be the last one. But I feel like, you know, I had a great time here and a, a great career. Uh, no. I just, my whole thing looking toward this game was, you know, would it be my last one? Just going out one more time with my guys, you know. I'm very loyal to the guys that I played the season with, and, you know, I just I wanted to go out there one more time and play with those guys. Like I said, we don't get those experiences again, especially with it being the last one. I don't have no more years left. I can't do a medical red shirt. I can't do any of that. So, you know, would it be my last one? I want to go out there with those guys and, you know, play one more ball game. 
don't know how far along in the scout or on the Utah State side of stuff you guys are, but at this point, anything